welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so students today i'm going to teach you how to multiply whole numbers to fractions okay so basically something like this where we have 3 into 2 upon 9 15 into 4 upon 5 then 5 into 7 upon 10 then 8 into 4 upon 5 something like that okay so first we'll start with the easier ones and then later on we'll do more than two fractions okay so where we'll have one whole number and then more than one fraction we will have which 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 we are supposed to multiply okay so now here see understand there are two ways to do this okay the first way is just multiply this together so 3 into 2 because whenever you have a whole number you have to consider the denominator to be 1 okay so then you just act as if this is also a fraction so when you multiply the two fractions you just have to do what multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator so 3 into 2 gets you 6 and in the denominator you will have 1 into 9 which is going to be 9 right now if you look closely you can reduce this further because both of them are going in what 3 stable so this you can divide 6 by 3 you will get what 2 similarly 9 by 3 you will get what 3 okay so this is one way of doing like I said but then there is another way which is much much easier and much much faster okay so here what you can do is see please understand whenever you are doing a multiplication operation in fractions or you know like anything which is involving a fraction you can and you can always cancel diagonally or up and down okay but you cannot cancel horizontally always remember you can go crisscross or you can go up and down you can cancel them okay meaning cancel meaning you can say that 3 has 9 in its table so we can say 3 1s are gets you 3 and 9 comes what 3 3s are is 9 so your initial now final answer will be what 1 into 2 which is nothing but 2 and 1 into 3 which is nothing but 3 okay so these are the two methods to do multiplication of whole numbers to fractions now I'm leaving it up to you which method you want to you know follow so initially if you think that this is something which is getting a bit difficult for you you can stick to the first method but sooner or later I would suggest that you follow this method of cancelling directly why am I saying that because then you will be ending up saving lot of time okay so then we have 14 into 4 sorry 15 into 4 upon 5 so again I'm going to do two methods for this sum as well so this is what 15 upon 1 so 15 into 4 gets you what 60 then six, 1 upon 1 into 5 gets you what just 5 so 60 divided by 5 is nothing but what 12 right now understand <coughs> like I said we can directly do the cancellation so let's do that so I know that 15 comes in 5 stable how because 5 1s are and 5 3s are gets you 15 so then you just have to do the multiplication which is what 3 into 4 which is getting you 12 upon 1 into 1 which is supposed to be 1 so anything whenever you have a numerator upon 1 we can just write the numerator okay so I hope I'm making myself very very clear okay now moving on in the bigger sums we are just going to do the cancellation method okay because why because I want all of you all to be familiar with this kind of a method okay but before going ahead I would like to remind all of you all that if you like the way I'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also don't forget at the end I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section so now here like I said we will do directly so 5 1s are and 5 2s are so we are left with what 7 upon 2 now always remember this is a ground rule the, whenever you have an improper fraction now what is an improper fraction where an improper fraction is nothing but where the numerator is greater than the denominator if that is the situation then you convert it in the mixed form now what is a mixed form mixed form is nothing but where you actually divide 7 by 2 so what is the quotient you get that is 3 okay but now as we see 7 is an odd number so the remainder is nothing but 1 in this case and whatever is your divisor will be written as it is okay so basically your answer is nothing but what 3 1 by 2 for this particular multiplication now looking over here now if you see nothing can be cancelled 
not up and down not even diagonally we can cancel anything so in that case what happens is you directly multiply so we have what 32 upon 5 again this is an improper fraction because 32 is much greater than 5 so now what should be the quotient when you divide 32 by 5 is nothing but 6 so why and 6 into 5 is at what 30 so the remainder is nothing but what 2 how because you take 30 out out of 32 you get the remainder as 2 and your divisor carries on to be 5 okay so this is your answer for 8 into 4 upon 5 now like i said we will start with bigger multiplications so let's do this one by one so now we have 56 which is getting multiplied by 6 upon 7 this is then further getting multiplied by 1 upon 8 and this is then getting multiplied by 5 upon 3 now if you look closely there are few things which are getting cancelled like 3 ones are and 2's are gets you 6 2 ones are and 4's are gets you 8 correct then we have uh, 7 so i know that 7 ones are and 8's are gets you 56 and then 4 ones are and 2's are gets you 8 right so now we are just left with what 2 into 1 into 5 that's nothing but what 10 and in the denominator everything is coming out to be 1 so your final answer for this particular multiplication will be just 10 okay now let's look at the another one so here we have uh, 96 into 3 upon 4 into 1 upon 2 into 5 upon 12 into 7 upon 20 so now we know that 3 ones are and 4s are gets you 12 5 ones are and 4s are gets you 20 correct so now uh, okay i don't think anything else is cancelling so we'll try with 96 so 4 ones are and this gets you 2 and 24 right then again 2 ones are and 12 then this gets you ones are and 3s are but that's it nothing else is getting multiplied so we oh sorry getting cancelled so we will just do the final multiplication this is nothing but 3 into 1 into 1 into 7 that is nothing but 21 upon 1 into 1 into 1 into 4 that is just dividing by 4 so again now this is an improper form so we will do what we will divide 21 by 4 the quotient which we get is 5 remainder is nothing but 1 and your divisor is so this is your answer for this particular multiplication so i hope you are absolutely clear about how to do these kind of questions now coming to your diy i want you to tell me what is 36 into 3 upon um, 6 into 4 upon 9 into 1 upon 2 do let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video. Also don't, don't forget every day, every single day I am putting up a video. So do subscribe to my channel for many such tricks.